to Q Hair and Beauty. Um, I'll put their Instagram on the screen for you in a minute, but they were really, really lovely. Um, so I really suggest going to there if you really want to get a good hair treatment. Never thought that we'd go this far. Don't stop now. Cheers, guys. Welcome to the vlog. I have not filmed today at all i don't know why i just have i really really haven't um she's been very busy um the bbc that she came and filmed um max dumatan and stuff like that um not too long ago um like a, about an hour and a half ago or something but so cool like they're going to be there tomorrow filming like all backstage all me on stage and stuff like that and like i say all of the vlogs like literally all the hard work is done now this is the last 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 competition of the season of this year and it's kind of emotional like it's kind of i don't know like i was just saying to max like, i can't believe it's the last competition like of my of this year and i've done five just it's just crazy and it's just so cool and i'm a little bit tipsy from the wine and i don't know like it's just so emotional and it's just really really cool like and whatever happens tomorrow night, like I always say, like I've done my absolute best, I've done all that I can and I'm proud of what I'm bringing to stage tomorrow and I'm proud of what I've done this season. So and that's at the end of the day all that matters like the most. Like, yeah, I can like I've said before, I compete to to place and I compete to win and be the best, but if there's someone better than you at the end of the day, like it's just what it is. Um and yeah, I'm just happy. I'm just so proud of what I've done this season, really. And I'm going to leave you that. I do want to say again a massive thank you to Q Hair and Beauty for doing my hair. Unfortunately, my hair is just so terrible. Like, it just frizzes so quickly. But thank you so much. You pampered me and you made me feel like an absolute princess today. Um, so thank you for them for straightening my hair. It was so lovely um, meeting the girl that straightened my hair, Amy. So, yeah. But thank you so much. We will see you tomorrow morning. See you then. It's show day. Too early. Too early. And it is like half seven in the morning. And I'm just on the way to go and get my makeup done. But he is on the way to Nottingham Dulwich. And it is the best place in the world. And I've literally, we've sent, I've sent in the menu. I've done like a little cross on each donut I want. And he's going to get them for me before they open. So absolutely best boyfriend in the world but I'm literally still about to go and get my makeup done the BBC are coming with us they're going to meet us there um, but yeah feeling good like I feel really 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 oh, my bus. really really good this morning um, so yeah I'll see you in a bit so this is Phoebe's treat for after the show oh my god they actually look so good <gasps> I didn't expect that. So hair, makeup all done, check-ins done. I'm literally just gonna go and eat something now. Not gonna lie, I am feeling a bit stressed. <laughs> like I feel rushed, my hair's not straightening as much as I would like it to. Um, but it's fine, we need to go past that. Um, but yeah, I'm literally just gonna go downstairs now to get some breakfast with Max. And yeah, I'll see you backstage. I'm really sorry this is gonna be probably such a rushed vlog, but this is the most important competition of the year, so 
I'm really sorry if I don't film a lot or anything, so I hope you guys understand. Love you lots. I'll see you in a bit. Go on then, be then. Show him. We'll share Poppy and Sophie. Right, ladies. Support the to the right.
number 340, Evie Hagen. The season's all done now, 2017 is over. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Like, I can't actually believe 2017 season is over, guys. And what a way to end it on. Like, I'm actually speech, like, <sighs> I can't even speak. Literally such an amazing way to end the season. Like, coming top three in both of my categories, I'm so, so proud of, like, so happy with. Like, considering last year, I didn't even come top 10 for um, the British finals last year. Um, and like, I was, I would, like, I was so unconfident in myself the entire season last year. Um, and to look back and see how much I've grown and how much I've progressed, um, to get to this stage is just amazing and like I can't thank you guys enough because you guys and your support has literally been like absolutely amazing like for every competition you always wish me good luck you always say like well done to me you always push me to be a better me and that makes me just so happy so thank you so much but I cannot believe it like I can't believe I came second in my junior class and third in my open height class which is over 169 and I'm just so happy with the result like a lot of people were literally like are you not gutted that you didn't come like first or you didn't win any of your categories and I was like honestly like honestly I did not think that was my best condition that I took to the British finals like honestly because like the condition I took to Finland was better, still wasn't on point, but was better than British finals. Um, the weight was still the same, which was really strange, but obviously I think my body was just starting to give up. Like I'd done five shows, like, and pretty much all of them were back to back to back, like the Arnold's, then two weeks later Finland, then a week later British. So my body, I think at that point was literally just saying no, like just stop. It's It sucks that it did get to that point, but obviously I pushed through and I absolutely love this sport and I'm obviously not gonna give up. I know I should have probably listened to my body, but I know how much I can push my body and like, yeah, my body wasn't its best, but I know I wasn't putting my body at risk or anything like that. So um, I know how to push myself in that sense. But at the same time, I am gonna try next year to kind of try and line up a few competitions not obviously five because that's a lot like i'm not going to do five like i did this year but i am going to do a few next year um and kind of line them up a bit further apart so i have a little bit of time to kind of give my body that rest it needs i can't believe i can't believe this season's over so it is the 25th of october and yeah it's like 11 days post comp now and post comp i am feeling really really good like 
I'm going to do a whole separate video on this and I'm also going to do a new YouTube series because I've wanted to do one for so long. Loads of, loads of you have been asking for how to deal with post comp, how to reverse out of comp, um, give any tips on how you're doing. So I'm going to do a whole few episodes on that, which I'm so excited for. Yeah, like this season has been amazing. Like I've gone from English Grand Prix champion to coming sick at the, at my first, um, international show at the Amateur Olympia in Marbella, then did the Arnold's, like I stepped on the Arnold stage, I came 11th and like then coming third at Finland against girls that I've literally looked up to for so long and then third and second at the British, like now saying that just literally out loud of my achievements and like how I've done and how I'm feeling right now makes it all worth it, makes all of it so, so worth it, like I literally cannot believe this, this year, like this year, not even of competing, the year that I've grown, I've met so many of you guys of in like, just everything, everything is so, so cool. And like, I can't thank you guys enough. And I cannot wait to share the rest of my journey with you as well. I'm gonna put on the screen it now of what my current physique is like. And um, this is literally what this I look like this morning. And I'm currently 65.8 this morning. And I have been at that weight for about, couple of days now so and I am reversing out of my previous diet for prep and stuff so I'm currently upping my calories pretty much by the week so I'm really excited on growing like there's so many things that I like, want to improve on and this is like the best part now you get to reflect on your whole season and say right break it down what do I need to work on and that's what I'm so excited for um, for me personally I think what I need to work on is my condition um, I think yeah, like I have, I look back on photos and I even posted a photo the other day and I have put on a lot of muscle since last year, which I'm really proud of, but my condition just isn't there like last year. So that's what I've just got to find, I think, personally, which is my main thing for next year. I'm going to do a whole separate video, probably my next video on like all my goals and everything that I want to work on for my off season and stuff like that. So I hope you look forward to that, but I'm going to leave you guys here and leave you on a cliffhanger so you can get excited for my new series which please comment down below because i don't know what to call it so but i love you guys so much please like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps support my channel and i love you guys so much thank you so much for always watching supporting and being the best community ever so love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video